48 hours after Ogosaya uh, said he was Tinubu's classmate at Chicago University, see what was exposed. Exactly. This Ogosaya, we know that he came out to say he was Chica, he was a classmate of Tinubu in the university and Tinubu was intelligent. Okay, so and when they look at their pictures, look at their age, look at everything, he appeared to be even a son to Tinubu. So how can you say you're a classmate with Tinubu at in, in early seventies, okay, or late seventies? Were you even born that time? That is the truth. I don't know what what his age is, but people are seeing him to be too young to be Tinubu's uh, uh, classmate as at nineteen seventy. As you mean Tinubu attended that school like two three years ago. Or even 10 years ago it's okay that's fine there's no crime in having both old very old people and young people in the same class but again what is the age of the young people at that time the class is holding okay so as of 1979 or 1977 to 1979 um when tinubu attended that uh, university how old was this augustaya that is what again we don't know but it appeared that he did, he must have been too young, probably very in a lower uh, school when Tinubu went to that school, if he actually attended it. So now, just 14 hours after he came out, uh, the renowned young investigative journalist in the U.S., David Hondain, has gone to dig out to go say as a history. And let's see what he has uh, discovered. A recent revelation has stirred the ongoing debate surrounding President Bola Tinubu's educational background. Duro Jai Ogusaya, a data and public affairs analyst, has come forward to assert that he was a classmate of President Tinubu at Chicago State University. This assertion has reignited discussions about the president's academic history, which have persisted both before and after 2023 presidential elections. Okay, so despite Chicago State University officially confirming President Tinubu's graduation from the institution, skepticism has lingered particularly among his political opponents. So these doubts primarily stemmed from um, perceived irregularities in the certificate issued to him, as well as the absence of any former student from the university corroborating the President Tinubu's uh, claim. However, during an interview with TVC News, Mr. Durojai Ogusaya um, emphatically stated that he and President Tinubu indeed attended the same university and graduated in 1979. They shared the same academic uh, journey. Pursuing uh, de degrees in accounting within the College of Accounting, Business and Administration, Ogusaya's recollection of their time together at the university includes memories of being in the same class and witnessing President Tinubu as a dedicated and diligent uh, student. Hmm. So in an effort to substantiate his claim, Gosai presented his diploma as evidence of his own graduation, emphasizing that he sought to set the record straight without any ulterior motives for personal gain or favor. Hmm. A lie. So the revelation by Duro Jayogusaya has added a new layer to the ongoing discourse regarding President Tinubu's educational background. So while Chicago State University has maintained its stance on the President Tinubu's graduation, the testimonial from a former classmate like Ogusaya serves as an additional source of support for President Tinubu's claims. However, it remains to the best to be seen how these um, new development will impact the broader public perception and the political landscape. So Duro Jayogusaya's assertion that he was President Bolatinov's classmate at Chicago State University and their subsequent graduation together in 1979 has added fresh perspective to the debate surrounding the President Trump's educational history. The revelation may prompt further discussion and investigations into the matter, potentially shaping public opinion on the day, uh, in the days to come. <laughs> so investigative journalist David Ondain exposes Ogun Sanya, stating that his claim is false 
and that there is no record of his name on Google when he searched for it. He wrote on verified uh, X handle, everybody and their dog is now reporting that one Duro Jaya Gusaya appeared on TVC claiming to be Tinubu's uh, cosmate at uh, Chicago State University. Exactly none of them bothered to do a five minutes fact check. Okay, to even establish whether anybody called Roja Yogosaya even exists. So a simple search keyword shows very closely that is okay, very closely that this is a made up uh, identity. Can you imagine? He added that only time the name Roja Yogosaya appeared on the entire internet is in news articles reporting about the same TVC appearance. So someone claiming to be a public affairs analyst cannot possibly have a web footprint that is literally zero. So this guy appeared on TVC using an assumed identity to make a claim that everyone with a functioning pair of eyes knows is not true. And look at journalists queuing up to report and amplify this nonsense. Meanwhile, none of them has reported that the FBI is preparing to release 2,500 pages of his dossier on Tinubu or that, or that Chicago State University yesterday in court disowned the forged certificate that Tinubu submitted to INEC, he maintained. <laughs> Actually, Chicago State University has come out to say they cannot verify the authenticity of the certificate that Tinubu submitted to INEC, leaving that matter in a very crucial state right now, which is still amounting to forgery or perjury, if that is true. Okay, but just that the same Chicago State University has not brought out their own version of Tinubu certificate if actually Tinubu had been at the university. Hmm. So what we are saying here, what Nde is saying here, is that this Duro Jai Ogunsoya is obviously telling lies, and which Nigerians know anyway, there's nothing that will come from Tinubu now that people will believe. He hired the uh, bishops to claim that Christians accepted Muslim Muslim ticket, he was caught. His age is having an issue. His source of wealth is having an issue. Academics have an issue. His life history in the, in the UK, in the, sorry, in the US is having an issue. That even in 1999, when he wanted to be governor of Lagos State, the primary and secondary school he added in the form that he said he attended was investigated and found that they never existed in Nigeria. And then the next thing, he deleted them. The question now is that what did he use to get into Chicago State University because he couldn't have gone into that university without a primary and secondary school certificate to buttress that he has progressively gotten to a point where he's qualified to go to the university program. And he did not even go there for a degree. He went there to do a diploma course. Okay. So that again, Chicago State University need to prove how this man was admitted. What document did they use to admit him and which certificate did they issue to him if he actually attended? that university because right now that is the bone of the contention thank you for listening and let's have your comment